Welcome to the step-by-step -step demonstration of the MARSARS Ice Rescue Extrication Sled. This video alone is not meant to teach surface ice rescue. Rather, it is intended to be used with a recognized surface ice rescue course with certified instructors. To gain the greatest understanding from this instructional video, we suggest that you view and understand the product features for both the Ice Rescue Extrication Sled and the Cold Water Rescue Sling. Separate instructional videos are available for each product. Now there's just one more detail to cover. This video will feature a blue screen with both printed and vocal comment. This is followed by a film clip example. Cautionary topics or warnings will appear with a yellow wording. Now let's begin. To use a Marsars Ice Rescue Sled, an ice rescue suit is required. Ice rescue suits provide six hours of warmth in freezing water and are inherently buoyant. The suit must feature a chest harness with front hookup. Ice holes provide the rescuer with a gripping tool for forward advance on ice. The next step is to connect the tether line reel to the sled's in-haul wire pennant. Fasten reel's hook to pennant's metal thimble. With sled tethered, we now take one end of the rescuer's tether strap and connect it to the rescuer's chest harness. Here's two examples of harness hookup. The next step is to take the tether's opposite hook end and connect it to the sled's outbound end. Tethering is now complete. Rescuer is tethered to sled. Sled is tethered to shore. Our rescuer will now don the cold water rescue sling. To don the sling properly, take your dominant hand through the sling. Put the sizing strap over your heart with the tail end sticking out. Note the error in the next clip. Later, I will point out its effect. In the example you are about to see, the sling's sizing strap tail is pointing sideways. It should be pointing straight out. This will later cause a slight delay. Now you're ready for response. You can walk, slide, or swim to scene. Whatever works best for you. The sled can be towed while on solid ice. For most surface conditions, awls are used for forward propulsion. Responding through open water, use ice awls to remount ice while atop sled. Or, using your suit's awls, climb up onto the ice, pull the sled next to you, remount the sled, and continue your response. As you're getting closer to the scene, steer the sled directly towards victim. Upon arrival on scene, stop one sled length away from the victim. Approaching the victim while atop, the sled is dangerous. Rather, rescuers should stop no closer than one sled length away, dismount, and extend the empty device for victims' self-rescue. Dismount sled to rescuer's weak side. In this example, our right-handed rescuer has slid off to the sled's or his left side. Now make a cautious side approach, lying flat as possible, and have your sling ready for emergency use. Rescuer's dominant hand grabs victim's forearm at the wrist. This hand maintains a hold while rescuer grabs sling as low as possible. Sling is slid over patient's arm and head. Sling and forearm are now held to prevent movement. Rescuer must reach through, grab, and lift patient's opposite arm. With patient buoyant, rescuer elevates sling while dominant hand grabs sizing strap. Note the delay by the sizing strap's tail pointing sideways. Okay, now that you got it, wrap the sizing strap tightly around the sling. 
tighter the better. Upon completion, you have established positive independent buoyancy to the victim. Buoyant sling now protects patient from drowning. Our next step is to pull the sled to you. Use your rescuer's tether strap for this purpose. Rescuer now positions sled between rescuer and patient. Holding orange coated grab strap, rescuer pulls and position sled preparing for sling hookup. Line tenders take note of the following. The next phase of rescue requires you to keep about one third of the sled on the ice mantle. Rescuer now connects the patient's buoyant sling to sled. Once connected, rescuer applies weight to lower about two thirds of the sled beneath water. Line tenders must maintain line tension. With 